Today in uh, our session we will talk about how we can uh, test the shear RAM. So uh, in our session we will speak about the 13.5 over 8 BOB acceptance test. Thank you. The purpose of this is, is to provide assurance that the proposed uh, rental camera new type 13508 uh, triple uh, 10,000 BSI POP, which consists of the double and single, and the Schaefer 13508 type 10,000 BSI annular, and the 13508 10,000 BSI that is in school, fully uh, serviceable and uh, fit for purpose. To do that, uh, it must operate in the field as per design. It must shear and seal the rail pipe. It must shear and seal the three quarter 15.3 grid, uh, grid 10 uh, 5 minimum and three uh, quarter stainless steel uh, control line. And shear and seal the stamper G four and a half quarter uh, three and three inch shear sub with. Uh, three control lines and to ensure all supplied uh, spares are uh, present as their delivery ticket and serviceable. Initial inspection. Conducting the inspection of the POPs and the testing arrangement. The double POP was already seated in the test pit. The 13508 10,000 BSI test differential was nibbled up to the single POP and was positioned beside the test pit barrier to commencing the pressure test. Equipment on arrival. Pressure test recording cabin. Three thousand BSI community, one thousand BSI pre charge. Inspection of certified test equipment. A check was made of all uh, the equipment uh, again is provided the certifications uh, many uh, components appeared to have no maintenance schedule or uh, associated uh, certifications however for the critical recording components various certifications were supplied like the comi bottles chart recorder gauges mbbi equipment the comi unit was accepted based on the mbbi ultrasonic and calibration certificates for the gauges and a uh, unit being provided on request but no maintenance files could be provided or produced on request
inspection of double single BOB and drilling spool against provided data package. No COS provide for the double POP provided on request. No COS provide for the drilling spool outstanding. No certification for the ring casket provided on request. Physical inspection. The general uh, external condition of both POPs, uh, single and double, uh, was observed to be good. All stars and nuts were checked for a time. Uh, two were identified on the single BOB outlets as B7M. Uh, 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 action replaced with B7 type. The second receipts were checked for the WPOP, both the uh, one inch NVT environmental caps for the top uh, seat or rims were observed to be uh, sized, they uh, were worked free and clean. Internal components were in good conditions, however no plastic backing was installed. For the lower uh, ramp set on the double, Internal components were in good conditions, however, no plastic backing was installed. For the single one, uh, internal components were in good conditions, however, no plastic backing was installed. The 3 over 8 inch uh, autocliff bladder fittings X6 were observed to have been painted over and consequently be plugged limited bleed function. Action removed, wire brush clear, refitted. The installed uh, dressed uh, point seals were inspected and part numbers checked. It was observed five of the seals were in high temp surface and the one was standard. GDI stated that they did not uh, want to change the point seals due to the conditions and the limited age and the usage of the BOPs. They stated that the standard type was fit for the surfaces in, in, in the well NF10. Action agreed. All point seal machined the grooves and the matting seal faces were inspected for damage, screw, and non observed all uh, service support. All ram piston uh, patterns were uh, visually inspected, uh, no damage observed. All 13 5 over 8 10,000 PSI ring groove confirmed accepted. Exposed the tail and piston roads uh, X7 inspected for signs of occlusions, chrome plating, uh, damage, screwing, uh, fitting, uh, non observed, and all uh, serviceable.
or BOP cavity seal uh, areas were uh, packed with grease. Remove the grease and inspect it visually for damage screwing. Some old uh, dredged uh, out screws. Observe it on the double BOP and lower cavity all serviceable. Lifting eyes uh, were removed from the single BOP. No certifications. For uh, 1 over 16 inch 10,000 BSI flanges, serial and identification numbers clearly visible on all six flanges. Certifications for the flanges were, was provided in the certificate package. Serial numbers matches the COC for all six flanges. Shell requested the flanges uh, be removed to inspect the ring groove joint. Upon removal, the four uh, 1 over 16 inch pools were uh, clean and greased. Clear indication the WBOB had been uh, surfaced on return from the field last use. The single BOB condition uh, was consistent with the uh, uh, new uh, status. Ramp locks and the pickles were inspected against the COCs and the OEM part numbers. All ramp locks were checked against supplied COCs. Okay, all ramp locks were observed to be unbraced. All ramp locks were all observed to be in serviceable condition. The interlocked uh, shear rams. 4.5 by 7 inch and 3.5 by 5.5 variable ramp rocks were jet washed and dried in preparation for dressing. The complete spares package was uh, checked against the supply services and the OEM part number OK. The spare set of the uh, interlock shear rams were requested from the BOB renters, not part of package, stand by in case of damage to the primary set during the uh, test period. Another uh, two sets of the uh, interlock shear uh, rams uh, packers were requested and supplied by the BOP renter during the test period. The drilling spool uh, internal uh, pools uh, was observed to be heavily corroded, scaled action sent to plastic in house. Uh, Re inspected post plast. Okay, uh, internal diameter of drilling spool was greased post plastic.
all the ring spool ring grooves observe it to be in good condition. End of part one. Thank you. See you next part.